update now on the breaking situation going on at the NASA Glenn Research Center. All morning we had been kind of couching the idea that there was a gunman on campus. Not sure if uh, the reports were true or not, and now we're getting more information. That's right. Let's go live right now to News Channel 5's Paul Kiska that's got some new information for us now. Paul. All right. You know, it's, it's an active situation. I want to show you the SWAT team arriving right now. This is the Sheriff's Department SWAT team. While they're arriving, they're allowing workers back in. And I just talked with the Brook Park Police Dispatcher who told me, quote, this was all just a false alarm and that they'll explain later. Shortly after she told me it was a false alarm, we saw Brook Park Police leaving. So now you see the SWAT team arriving. We're, we're, we're trying to make heads and tails of what's going on. We think it's good news, though, because uh, perhaps the SWAT team is just about to find out that this is all over as well. Because earlier when we were on the air live, we heard the PA announcement uh, echoing out here across Nessa Glen grounds saying this is the all clear, the emergency is over. And then after I talked with the Brook Park Police Dispatcher, she said they're being told this was all a false alarm. And that would bear out because at that point they opened the gates, they allowed about 50 cars to pull back in, which were Nessa Glen workers. And there you see the Brook Park Police cars. Here's two more of them uh, coming out, driving away. So while we did see the SWAT team, now here comes all the police cars, a whole line of them. So we're going to go with that Brook Park Police Dispatcher saying this was a false alarm. It's the all clear. It's all over. Um, and as we saw the SWAT team pulling in kind of quickly, you know, look, look at the, what the SWAT team goes through. Yes. The adrenaline, those law enforcement workers have to go through. They have to suit up real quick, stop what they're doing, hustle out here. They got the adrenaline pumping, and now it's all over. It's good news. It's just one of the stresses of their jobs as well. So uh, hopefully we'll get more information shortly. But as you see, there goes one, two at least three or four more Brook Park police cars. Originally, that's why, as Pete said, we couch this. We continue to say, you know, this isn't confirmed. We never had official confirmation, but we heard that shots were fired inside Building 77 that perhaps one person was hit. Uh, but again, good news. Most of the police are making their way out of this situation, headed back home uh, to handle other police work. Again, we're hearing a false alarm at NASA Glenn. Pete? Yeah, Paul, I, I, I don't know how much or uh, the extent of your uh, conversation with the, with the dispatcher of Brook Park Police. I mean, false alarm could really mean any number of things. It could mean uh, it was a prank. Uh, it could mean there was a training exercise uh, going on on campus. It could mean uh, that NASA Glenn doesn't want us to know that there was a security breach. I mean, this, this could mean really any number of things, right? I don't know how much information you got, but did right. you get any more than just what you thought of? Uh, no, and, and that's a good point. She said, false alarm, we'll put out more in a press release, I've got to go. But when you hear that and you see every single sure. police car leaving, it's it's over. Yeah, yeah, and that's great news. Paul Kiska reporting live it for us. It's yeah. a huge relief for anybody that knows people that work here. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic news. It, it's, a, it's a false alarm, but still, the people inside, I'm sure, were afraid. We're getting tons absolutely. of calls into our News Channel 5 newsroom right. as well as emails and so forth. Let's go right now to our newsroom. News Channel 5's Ron Regan is standing by now with some of the things that you've been hearing from viewers as well. Ron, good morning. Well, we've spoken to an employee at the NASA Glen compound, and uh, he was inside one of those buildings this morning. Uh, he described uh, a situation that was uh, pretty tense, but again, uh, I think what is uh, really interesting to report is just how professionally uh, employees out there at NASA Glen handled this situation, even though you can imagine that the anxiety level just had to be sky high. He described hard Always that were virtually empty. He said the campus itself, not a soul outside. And he also confirmed that there was a lot of confusion, that uh, employees didn't know precisely what was happening uh, this morning as it unfolded. Uh, it, there was anxiety. There was a lot of, of questions being asked. But of course, as Paul Kiska has just confirmed, uh, this was a uh, false alarm. And, uh, we, you know, we're grateful that uh, people out there in NASA Glen are safe and sound. But, you know, again, uh, from an employee directly this morning, it was a pretty tense situation out there. Yeah, it was indeed. All right, Ron Regan, uh, thank you so much for that update as well. Again, as you said, they have to go through the motions. I mean, whether, whether this was a drill uh, being put on by security there, whether it was a, a false call, a prank of some sort, you have to go through the motions. You have to make sure. And, and that's why we're here, too, to let you know what's going on, uh, to let you know, because we react like it's a real situation as well, just as they did. And again, this all went down in about an hour's span. We, we first started moving on this just before 10 o'clock, and uh, we heard the all clear just before 11 o'clock. So yeah. good, good news. Uh, we did have the report that one person had been shot. Apparently, that's not the case. Yeah, and uh, we're still working to get exactly, you know, what all of this was about. And as soon as we get more information, we'll let you know. Just keep it tuned to News Channel 5 and NewsNet5.com for more information. Now we turn you back to The View.